Welcome to Journeyman Electrician Exam Practice Test. Our topic today is Branch Circuits. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. How many branch circuits should be installed if the result of the calculation for branch circuits is 3.1? A. 3. B. 3.3. C. 3.5. D. 4. The correct answer is D. 4. Explanation. When calculating branch circuits, when your calculation is more than a whole number, in this case, 3.1 must go to the next whole number which is 4. In other words, you cannot install part of a circuit or circuit breaker. Number 2. What is an individual branch circuit? A. A branch circuit supplying only one utilization equipment. B. A branch circuit with a single receptacle. C. A branch circuit serving in the power system of one family dwellings. D. A branch circuit with the rating of less than 20 amperes. The correct answer is A. A branch circuit supplying only one utilization equipment. Explanation. An individual branch circuit is a branch circuit that supplies only one utilization equipment. Examples of individual branch circuits would be branch circuits supplying electric water heaters, dryers, ranges, cooktops, air conditioners. Number 3. What is the minimum number of 40 ampere, 220 volt branch circuits required for 20 baseboard heaters, each rated 2250 watts at 220 volts, single phase? A. 6. B. 7. C. 8. D. 9. The correct answer is B. 7. Explanation. To determine the minimum number of required branch circuits to supply fixed electric space heating equipment, we apply the following formula. Number of circuits equals 1.25 times of the load in volt ampere or watts, divided by the circuit in volt ampere or watts. In this case, we get the number of circuits is 6.4. It must be round to the next integer. Hence, we need at least 7 circuits. Number 4. Determine the total area of a five-story building which has outside dimensions of 125 feet by 100 feet. A. 12,500 square feet. B. 50,000 square feet. C. 42,000 square feet. D. 62,500 square feet. The correct answer is D. 62,500 square feet. Explanation. To calculate the area, in square feet, of a multi-story building, multiply the length of the building by the width of the building by the number of stories. 100 feet multiplied by 125 feet, then multiplied by 5 equals 62,500 square feet. Number 5. A dwelling unit has outside dimensions of 60 feet by 45 feet. What is the minimum number of 15 amperes, 120 volt general lighting brand circuits required for the dwelling? A. 3. B. 4. C. 4.5. D. 5. The correct answer is D. 5. Explanation. To determine the minimum number of general lighting branch circuits required for a dwelling unit, we apply the following formula. The number of circuits equals the load in volt ampere or watts divided by the circuit in volt ampere or watts. In this case, first calculate the minimum lighting load for this dwelling, the outside dimensions multiplied by a unit load of 3 volt amperes per square foot, equals 8100 volt ampere. The number of circuits equals 8100, divided by the multiplication of 120 and 15, equals 4.5. Because this result is 4 and a half circuits, the number must be rounded up. Hence, at least 5 circuits are required. Number 6. The branch circuit conductors supplying a 6 kW, 240 volt, single phase water heater are required to have an ampacity of at least A. 25 amperes B. 31.25 amperes C. 35 amperes D. 37.5 amperes The correct answer is B. 31.25. Explanation. First, calculate the current. 
the power divided by the voltage equals 25 amperes. Then, the branch circuit conductors are required to have an ampacity of at least 1.25 times of 25 amperes is 31.25 amperes. Number 7. What is the unit load per square foot for dwelling units? A 1 volt ampere per square feet. B 2 volt amperes per square feet. C 3 volt amperes per square feet. D 4 volt amperes per square feet. The correct answer is C3 volt amperes per square feet. Explanation. Lighting loads for specific occupancies shall be based on the unit load per square foot depending on the type of occupancy as given on table 220.12. According to the table, the unit load per square foot for dwelling units is 3 volt amperes per square foot. Number 8. What is the maximum continuous load, in VI, that a 240-volt, single-phase branch circuit may be protected with a 20-ampere rated circuit breaker? A. 2,400-volt amperes. B. 2,850-volt amperes. C. 3,840-volt amperes. D. 4,800-volt amperes. The correct answer is C3840 volt amperes. Explanation. Commonly it is stated that you can never load a branch circuit to more than 80% of the overcurrent device rating, 80% is the inverse of 125%, according to NEC 210.20A. So, the maximum continuous load is 240 volts multiplied by 20 amperes then multiplied by 80% equals 3840 volt amperes. Number 9. For a retail store, determine the maximum number of 120-volt fluorescent luminaires, lighting fixtures, each drawing 1.6 amperes, may be supplied from a 20-ampere rated, 120-volt lighting branch circuit. A. 8. B. 9. C. 10. D. 13. The correct answer is C. 10. Explanation. According to the NEC 220.18b for inductive and lead lighting loads, the maximum number of fluorescent luminaires is calculated to be 10 luminaires. Number 10. A continuous load is a load where the maximum current is expected to continue for at least a 15 minutes, b 1 hour, c 2 hours, d 3 hours. The correct answer is D. 3 hours. Explanation. A load where the maximum current is expected to continue for 3 hours or more according to NEC Chapter 1, Article 100 Definitions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.